Today I want to talk about spiritual susceptibility and the importance of it. This is video log September 3rd, 2012. Spiritual susceptibility is an energy force, if you will, that draws energy to you, draws the things to you that you desire and wish for. Some people call this the law of attraction. Some have called it in a previous century magnetism, animal magnetism. I'm calling it susceptibility because it's something that you can create simply by becoming conscious of your daily life. Here's what I mean. You have two worlds within you, at least two worlds within you going on simultaneously. You have the physical realm, which is the one that you are most uh, cognizant of. It's three-dimensional. It uh, is reinforced through mass and matter, and it is relatively the most believable. The other realm, whether you believe in it or not, that is going on simultaneously, it is the eternal nature of you. It is the part of you that is spirit uh, and soul, and that which is connected to God and your everlasting being. This is your karmic cycle or spiritual realm. These are two cycles that occur autonomously. They occur autonomously, that is, if you are not conscious of your life and who you are, when you are not in control of your environment in the way around you, these two things will work autonomously and not in balance with one another. And what happens is that you wind up with a life that seems to repeat over and over bad habits, bad relationships, bad experiences, things that you feel are happening to you rather than how you are happening upon your life. Here's what I mean. So let's use a model of the bicycle. A bicycle, we could say, is a bicycle, two wheels that, uh, when in balance, they move with each other and in unison. The way to accomplish this bicycle that has forward momentum rather than these autonomous uh, infinite loops is that you need to be able to find out where the pedals are and start moving them. And the way to do that is that you learn to center yourself. And in that centering, you create links, chain links, to these two cycles of your spiritual and physical realm. And you are pedaling forward, creating momentum in your own life. Becoming centered and generating that hub requires you to become conscious and conscientious of your daily life. Everything all the way down to knowing, watching the toothpaste come out of the tube and onto the bristles of your toothbrush, feeling the bristles onto your teeth. Most people who are in this infinite loop cycle out of control of their life. And I, I don't mean control, like that kind of control. I mean a balance in a centered way. They'll start thinking about what happened yesterday, what's going to happen tomorrow or next week, or what happened 10 years ago, or 30 years ago, or even 40 years ago. Their mind is not in the present, in the now. Their mind is somewhere in the future or the past. I'm asking you to take a moment in that moment to be conscientious of uh, the moment you brush your teeth, put on your clothes, get into your car, the drive to work. Don't turn on the radio and let the outside world infiltrate into you. Instead, begin to listen to your inner world and learn how to push aside the past and the future 
and to maintain that moment of now in the center within you. When you get to work and you interact with other people, listen to what people have to say and be conscious of how they behave and your feelings toward their behavior. Be conscious of how people react to you and your behavior. When you become more aware of these daily moments of now, the more you start to generate a center cycle. And from that center hub, that sphere of the realm of you, the more you connect and balance the spiritual and the physical, and in doing so, you begin to become spiritually susceptible by creating that momentum, that cycle, that creates the cycle, the vortex. The vortex draws things into your life that you're wishing for. As you do that, you will find that not only will you desire less, you will be more grateful for what does come. And as your gratitude builds, that cycle builds and more and more and more and more is drawn to you. So that sucking need and want becomes an open joy and gift for you and for others. You have a question for me? I'm happy to address anything on this topic or any other spiritual question you might have, either here on YouTube or at sandrasneed.com, S-O-N-D-R-A-S-N-E-E-D.com. The link is in the notes. Thank you.